What's up everybody, it's Blaze from Funbox here and in this video we are going to go ahead and take all of this information and put them into our game units or into our base unit here. Uh, so if you haven't already seen that theory video, I suggest you guys go back, watch that video and then come back here because I want to keep all the explanation to a bare minimum. So let's get started. We're going to add in a create event. And for each of our stats, we're first going to set up a macro. And naturally, we're going to start with health. And that's our first macro there. I want you guys to go ahead and fill in the macros for the skill points as well as the speed. That's, those are, these are the three stats that we're going to focus on for a little while in this series. But don't worry, we'll add more to that as we go along. So go ahead and fill those extra details in. I'm going to do it from my end as well. Okay, good. So our macros are all set up and don't worry about the warning. The warning is just saying that it's unused, meaning we haven't done anything with this information yet. But we are going to get started with that now. In the theory video, like I said, we're going to have two different arrays. One will be our base stats, which will hold all this information. And we're going to use that as a read value. And then we're also going to create another array, which will be our current stats. And that will be basically our write values. So keep that in mind and let's, let's add those two separate arrays in now. All right, perfect. We've done our first half here. And basically what the macros do is instead of using these numbers here, we are giving it a little bit more readability. We're making our code readable. This is especially useful if you are working in a team or if you're bringing someone into your game project at a later date. By using macros here to define the names of the array values, it's a lot easier to, yeah, to read it. So keep that in mind if you are setting up arrays. You don't have to, you can use these numbers if you want, but uh, just for the purposes of readability, I I think using these macros is a lot easier. So this is our base. Our current, basically what we're going to write or modify during the game is going to be set up the same here with a few differences. The main difference being if we write our first current, so current and we say health, we are actually going to read base at health. Right. So this is this is what it's going to look like in the create event. So we are going to change this as we go on these current stats. But uh, for now, we are going to set it up here. So go ahead and fill in the rest. And I'm going to do the same for myself here. Cool, so that's done. No errors, nothing's wrong, so that's good. Now, before we continue, you could, of course, just write something like this. Uh, you could just write current health. You could do that, it's totally fine. That's acceptable as well. Um, but just for neatness and for readability for us, we are going to stick to using arrays here. So this is done. This is more or less what we wanted to achieve in this video. We also now need to add in a draw GUI event. Actually, you know what? Let's let's focus on the draw event. And I think I just got a notification, a couple more notifications, uh, but I'll I'll take a look at those at a later time. Let's instead have a look at this draw event here. And instead of just drawing this the ID string, we can also add in some extra debug code by writing string and whoops. We want to write, um, let's just debug our health for now so I can show you guys exactly how it works. So let's write current health and then plus and then divide 
plus string and we'll write base help. Whoops, we want to use the macro, not just not the inbuilt variable. So keep keep an eye on that. If you are not using all capitals, there is a built in health variable here. If we write it out, there it goes. It says built in, so we don't want that. So let's have a look at that. And I forgot to put my accessors in. Forget your accessors. I did do a video on that. So if you want to watch uh, the accessors video, feel free to do so. Let's save this out. Let's see what happens when we build the game out. Hopefully I don't get any errors. Okay, good. No errors, which is which is always a good sign. And we can see here now that we have our health drawn out above our character right next to their ID, which is perfect. Hopefully that's uh, that's the end of that. Let's put a little bit of offset so that's so that uh, it looks like it's in the middle. Um, the text is in the middle of everything. We are also going to have a look at, you know what? Let's add in also the speed of our character so that because we are going to need that as well. Let's add in a string and let's reference. Let me just pull this window out a little further. And we are going to reference our current. Uh, let's go ahead and add in our current speed. There we go. Save that out. Play. And we can see here that each and every single unit has their own speed. And that's what we're going to sort our units, this list here. We're going to sort this list based off of these values so that instead of six, who only has seven health, uh, not health, has only seven speed, we are going to make it so that seven here with nine speed is at the top of the list. And then it goes six and then it goes five and then it goes through here, right? In that order or whatever gets generated as we try out our demo. So in any case, we are done for now. This is, this is what we wanted to achieve and we're done with it. So stick around for the next one. We are going to start sorting our units. So look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.